morning guys, my name is Bailey Darling. I'm a 21 year old entrepreneur here at Acadia University and my company is Money Mindset Group. Hello, my name is Yoram Shroll. I'm the founder of Endo and I'm a third year international student at Acadia University. Hi, my name is Reese Chikeda. I'm from Calgary, Alberta and I am a third year business student doing a general degree with a concentration on management. I'm with the Money Mindset Group, uh, focusing more on marketing operations. My name is Brendan McNeil. I'm a third year finance student, and in working with Money Mindset Group, I was working on the video creation and production. Hi, my name is Ryan Tilley. Uh, I'm a third year uh, business student majoring in entrepreneurship and innovation, um, and I worked on the Endo team um, as a designer, uh, focusing on the branding and the marketing side of things. Uh, I'm Evan Shergold. I'm a 22-year-old from Toronto, Ontario. I'm also a business student here at Acadia in my final year. Uh, I'm also having the pleasure to work with the Endo team, uh, and I'm also tackling the branding and the marketing side of things with Ryan here. Um, so what Money Mindset Group is, uh, quite simply, it's an online education platform that helps young adults learn how to better manage their money, uh, and not only that, but to change their mindset as well. Endo is dedicated to creating a product that helps consumers grow cannabis at home and provide the knowledge that they need. So coming into this course, I had a very solid idea of what I wanted to pursue during the term, and that was to create an investing course, online course, uh, for complete beginners with some of the most actionable content on the market. Now, that being said, since I already had an idea, I didn't really need help in the ideating process, but what I did need help with was customer discovery. And that was one of the biggest tasks right off the bat that I gave my design team. We know so many students that are interested in investing in personal finance. What do they like? Well, they love graphic design, videos, things that are easy to read and flow, and stories. So that was the fun ideation process of critiquing the design that Bailey already had, and the prototype is still forthcoming with implementing those ideas. When we first started uh, talking to our design team, um, I kind of took it in the direction of that these are students, they're just like me, they're not older, I don't have any real power of them. So I wanted to make this as useful f as much for them as it is for me. And so my first question to them was, let me know what you're interested, what you're good at, and what skills you bring to the table. You know, it was just really cool to work on something that I personally was interested in and very passionate about, and uh, the entrepreneur we were working for was really passionate about it, so. Again, I'm just starting out as an entrepreneur, so learning everything as I go, essentially. And I think that's a really good experience because, realistically, there's no safer place to do that than in a classroom when you're at university. When, so when I came into, with Bailey, into the course here, my, my role personally was just to focus on like the social media marketing aspect and kind of how to attract our certain demographic to his course, right? So, like, me personally, I'm not a big investing guy. I don't really know anything about it. So. With my role, per se, I was more so focused on how would I get myself interested in this. Just building off of that note, that was very important uh, with the, the soft skill side of things, managing the team, so how do we respect Bailey's vision, but also bring our creativity to it. And that was the most important thing that you said that resonates with me that I would also bring to it is in other classes in university and school, it's, it's a, a testing system where you, you got the rubric, so you know the points you have to hit, like you so said, you're just going for the A. Versus this is radically different because you have none of that. You need to define the problem, you need to define the rubric, how do you measure success, and then the mark is almost the least of your worries because you're like, well, how do we make this not an abominable failure and make people actually enjoy this and, and want to see it, right? So that was the awesome part for me is just the, the raw, real experience of bringing the product to market. Uh, in terms of like skills, um, soft skills are obviously being developed every single day we come together into our office. We're working with one another, so teamwork and, and an ability to kind of lead ourselves as well as lead others in the process. But in terms of hard skills, most of the time in class we're learning these theories and theoretical approaches, uh, but this class has really given me an opportunity to take what I've learned uh, in terms of branding and marketing and be able to apply it to a real life business situation. I think the biggest problem that we faced was um, figuring out exactly what our MVP will look like. We were thinking posters, we wanted to do uh, a bunch of little things and as we were heading towards that we pivoted again and I think that's like the biggest takeaway from the design process is that 
you're constantly pivoting, you're constantly uh, moving in different directions because of, of new, uh, new information. For example, one of those things was branding and that's one of the tasks I asked the, the team to do. Um, because before this, for the past year, we've just been known as Weedbox. Um, and that's kind of a base idea. We wanted to take that to the next level. We wanted to bring this new, refreshed, young, modern approach and kind of tie that into the overall company feel and, and what character we're trying to resonate with our customers. Myself and a couple of other members of the group are tackling um, some branding stuff in uh, the form of infographics. Um, so really focusing on getting the name out there, uh, you know, tackling the stigma again, um, and just kind of putting some information out there to, you know, help show who we are and what we're what we're trying to do. Uh, for example, the actual prototype of the box itself, we have Stephen, uh, a member of our design team, working on that actual blueprint design right now. So um, hopefully by the end of the semester, it's our goal to have Yoram be able to take that design uh, that Stephen's developing and and bring that to kind of the next level through some sort of AutoCAD software. In terms of my experience working with the design team, it's been absolutely great. Um, and I think, to be quite honest, it's somewhat of an anomaly in any university classroom that we can get together at between two classes and actually have students work for entrepreneurs in venture creation too. But one of the biggest hidden benefits for me was I got the opportunity to learn how to manage a group of people within my company. And that has been uh, obviously a big learning curve, but absolutely phenomenal, not only for this course, but I believe for uh, future success in the businesses I found after this. Working with the designers has been like such a pleasure for me. It's been a lot of fun. Uh, definitely when we first heard about um, what we're going to do in Venture Creation 2, working with uh, another course, we're, we were all super excited. And uh, I consider myself lucky. I got a really, really good team. You definitely don't you know, get as many opportunities to experience something like this. Um, and you know, there's kind of the traditional uh, business courses. Um, it was just really cool to, to work with the design team for sure, but also to be working with, you know, a bona fide entrepreneur who has this project that they're passionate about and they're kind of trusting you with these aspects of their business. Yeah, I can, I can agree with Ryan as well with the overall experience. It's, it's been a success the way that our team's been able to come together. Uh, division of responsibilities is something that I feel a lot of businesses struggle with is some people want to do everything, but our team was able to come together uh, with high chemistry and mesh really well so that all of us had our own individual roles and in, in that sense of autonomy. And I think that's been kind of a driving force behind our own success thus far this semester. This course kind of helped me develop the knowledge to come into a company and, and not be afraid to share my creativity but also at the same time don't cross that line of you're stepping over the boundaries. So that's something that I'm going to be carrying with me as I go through and graduate and get into the business world. The quickest thing that comes to my mind when we we're working on this is definitely in the early days of the pre-ideation. We're, we're defining the problem. And it's like, what are we trying to get at here? It was when we were doing a mind mapping exercise on the board and we we're writing out like our, our different target markets and, and who could this appeal to? What, what does that consist of? What are their characteristics, et cetera, et cetera. And we picked out the pieces of who's it's millennials and then it's it's more so students and it's it's first time investors and then it was i clicked that we went no we're not making a cibc uh, investors course or a full academic program we're making that on ramp and i still remember drawing the drawing the visual on the board of how everybody has the barrier to entry of the knowledge level being up here and they're starting down here in the parabolic curve of learning and we are the ladder that gets them from a to b starting on the road okay here's how you get your account beginning with index funds to learn investing and then slowly getting the ball rolling so when we found that that was like okay now we're on to something we can make something of tangible value